Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my 10 week bump date. I'm filming this on May 13th. I am technically 10 weeks and two days. Today's video is probably gonna be short like the last one because I don't have a ton to update on. The baby is now the size of a kumquat, which is roughly about an inch and a quarter long and weighs about an ounce and a quarter. As far as my symptoms go, they've pretty much stayed the same. Nothing has really gotten worse and I haven't gotten any new symptoms really. I'm still very tired. I could sleep all day. I've been having to use the bathroom a little bit more than usual. I've had to get up maybe two to three times each night to use the bathroom. My nausea is still very much there. I don't think it's as bad as it has been. I feel like it's tapering off a little, but at this moment I do feel pretty nauseous and like a couple days ago I was pretty sick. So I don't know. Hopefully once I hit the second trimester it'll go away. I haven't had any real cravings. I haven't had too many aversions, but I still have times where I'm like, nothing tastes good and all I want is like rice, bland crackers, stuff like that. I've had one appointment since my last bump date and that was my very first prenatal visit at nine weeks and six days. They did an ultrasound because it was still kind of too early to hear it on a Doppler, so we got another ultrasound and I'll show you the picture. And there's the picture that we got. Baby is doing very well. Um, still had a very strong heartbeat. We could see an arm moving. We could see a leg moving. We got a lot of information at that visit. I was also supposed to have some labs done, but we ended up rescheduling it to Tuesday. And the reason for that is because I am scheduled to receive a genetic screening and a carrier screening, which I was still just a little too early to do. Um, I think it's supposed to be done between 11 and 14 weeks, but they said that doing it at 10 weeks would work fine too. I was so close to being okay to do everything, but we ended up just rescheduling it to the following week. Basically, I'll just have some blood drawn for all of that. If I test positive for anything, then Dan will need to get tested too, just to make sure there isn't anything that can potentially be passed down to our child. Things that I have gotten for the pregnancy or for the baby, I've gotten a few things, uh, mostly from my mom. She bought me some maternity clothes to wear. First I have this pair of maternity leggings, which I actually wore this morning. They are covered in cat hair already. They are very comfortable and it's good to have a pair of leggings that actually fit me. A lot of my leggings are very tight now, so it's great to have a pair of leggings to just lounge around the house. I also got this black shirt from her. This is good because I have to wear black at work most of the time, so this will be good. I'll have a black shirt that fits me. And then she also got me this Mama long sleeve shirt, which will be good to wear in the fall. That's when I'll be really pregnant, so this will be good because it's long sleeve. It's still pretty lightweight, but I think it's really cute and I'll be able to wear it when it's starting to get a little cooler. My mom also got us some formula for the baby if we need it. Um, she apparently had a coupon where she got it for free, so no worries if we don't use it. I am planning to breastfeed anyway, but just in case for some reason I can't. We have this formula to get us started. I also got a goodie bag at my first prenatal visit from my doctor and it had a bunch of information in it and it also came with another pregnancy book. It was this one. 
your pregnancy and childbirth, which is similar to the others that I have, where it talks about your pregnancy month by month, and it also talks about childbirth and postpartum as well. So that is pretty much it. Like I said, there's not that much to talk about, so I will do a belly shot. All right, so there really isn't much change at all. I still look pretty much the same. Um, I feel like a little bit bloated down here, but again, I'm probably not going to look pregnant for a little while. It'll probably be, I'm predicting maybe the second trimester, I was thinking maybe around 16, 17 weeks, I'll actually start to have a bump. Dan. Yes. How do you feel about me being 10 weeks pregnant? Pregnant. Yes. <laughs> He's very distracted. He's playing the new Zelda game that just came out. Uh, yes. And I am playing this while at the same time trying to ease my mind from job hunting. Yes, because that's a big thing going on right now. Yay! So that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like. And be sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss any new videos from me. You can also follow me on all of my social media. All of the links are listed down below, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!